In this video, we'll walk through the process of setting up payroll payments inside Traction. The first thing you're going to need to do is add some additional accounts to your chart of accounts. The first set referenced in the Knowledge Base article is under your other current liabilities. And these include a variety of different payroll taxes. And so the process, you go to other current liabilities, click on details, add account. You're going to need to add each one of the accounts listed in the Knowledge Base article. The county payroll tax, the FICA payable for both the employee and the employer, along with the state payroll tax. And then once those are added under other current liabilities, you'll need to go down to expenses and then do the same thing. Click on details, add account, and then here we're going to add the payroll tax expenses. And so the first one I'm adding here is for the federal. And then again, you'll go through that process and add the county, the FICA employee and employer, along with the state. And now that we have those set up, we'll return to our account register. We'll click Add New Payment. And then in our contact list, this is our employee, Amber Traction. And we're going to write a check for this. And now we're going to need to set up all those accounts. And I'm just going through here and adding all of the appropriate ones. And make sure in the memo section, you include the memo for what this payment period is. Because at the end of the video, we'll show you how to use templates to make this process quicker and easier for you after you get the first one in. Next, we'll need to set up the state payroll tax information. So again, here we'll set up add new payment. In this case, it's the Indiana Department of Revenues, the contact, and we'll add the county payroll tax and the state payroll tax. We'll save and close that transaction. And we'll do the same for our federal contact. We'll put U.S. Department of Treasury. And you may have to add these contacts if they're not already in your system. We'll add the FICA for both employee and employer. And we'll save and close. And now that those transactions exist, when we do a new one, add new payment, and we're going to write our next check to Amber. We use previous transactions. And we can select that previous May 5th payroll and then just update the numbers. If it's the same payment for that payment period, there's nothing to update except the memo. Otherwise, you just adjust the amounts accordingly, adjust the memo, click Save and Close. And then you would do the same for the other templates as well. And that's it. That walks you through how to set up a payroll using the existing payment methodology inside Traction Basic Accounting, and then how to also use our templating feature so you can automatically have those accounts set up, and then the only adjustments you need to make are for the different values, if any, for that particular payment period.